Aaron can see this. Uh -huh. Right, that's that. So yeah, if you all want to um, then get yourself on to Kahoot and I will generate the code for you so that you can uh, pop your names in, okay? So, where do you want us to put it? Um, it's on the, you should have, uh, under your extended writing tabs, yeah? You'll see yeah. that I did mini assessment uh, poetry oh, yeah. anthology. If you just uh, pop it there for me, please. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay. Oh, Charlotte and first. Yeah. Ah, John is just being John. Ah, Clemmy, okay. Penny then, all of us in. Hughes in. We're just waiting for Philippa now, aren't we? Yeah, there's Philippa. That's that's his all, isn't it? Yeah, do, 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 do. yeah, two, four, six. Yeah, that says that's his all in. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So, and again, it's just relating to the poems that we've studied it's so far. Delayed, sir. Sorry? It's a bit delayed. Is it? My apologies. I can't help the internet. So, how many stanzas in Ozymandias? Hey, four, right? On the money. Um, there is just, it's just the one. It's that single sonnet. Da, da, da. So, who we got at the top? Who we got at the top? Oh, Philippa. Followed by Charlotte. Followed by John. Followed by Penny. I'm guessing that Clemmy's might have glitched and frozen. Right. Number two. Who was Ozymandias? Really? Two got it for the Egyptian. Uh, nobody went for the American president. And um, I, I thought quite a few of you might go for the dictator, yeah. Um, okay, so let's see which two were there. Oh, well done, Philippa. And oh, looks like Oliver. Yeah, well done. So Philippa going into an early commanding lead here. Anybody any catcher? Uh, right. How is the lip of Ozymandias' wreck sculpture described? It's a direct quote from the poem. Hey, five of you spot on. Yeah, the wrinkled lip. Oh, all change at the top there. All of us zooms up. Uh, a very, a very slight lead over Philippa and Charlotte. Penny there fourth. John and Feth. Right, next. What is the poem Ozymandias about? Hey, very good. Uh, who said it was about a big statue? <laughs> Which I suppose it is. Um, but yeah, the two, the two that get your points um, seeing power, dissolved or a period of time, and the arrogance of power, those in power. Yeah, very good. Oh, stay as much as you were at the, the running order at the top there. Right. Next, moving on to My Last Duchess. What form, so what type of poem is My Last Duchess? Yeah, dramatic monologue. Yeah, now the sonnet, remember that's a love poem, it's got to be 14 lines, only 14 lines long. Okay, 
Well done. Oh, Oliver, Oliver. Poor, what a plummet, Oliver, there, yeah, from first to fifth. Um, yeah, Philippa back at the top. Hot in her heels is Charlotte and Penny and John in close attendance too. All right, now the speaker in my last duchess, so uh, the person narrating, how are they to be described? Very good. So you could see that there's two options there. Everybody went for this, the one powerful and, and controlling. You could have went for, yeah, deceitful and corrupt as well. That'd have been equally acceptable. But well done, everybody. Full house. <gasps> Charlotte. Charlotte snuck into the top of the leaderboard there. Must have been quickest on the money there. Penny on fire with your streak of four. Well done. And uh, John and Oliver. Right, so what gives the reader the impression that the Duchess is dead? Okay, so you get quotes to choose from there, one of the four. Yeah, good, 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 good. The quote is, if she were alive. Um, and I can see why, yeah, the quote I gave commands, but really that doesn't tell you, does it? You need to have had the all smiles stopped. That's what would have clinched at that one there as well. Okay. Oh, John up into third now on that podium. Just knocked Penny off, but by the smallest of margins. Charlotte's still out in front. Okay, so this time now, how is the Duke presented in My Last Duchess? Which do you think best suits him? There you go, very good. The only one that wouldn't got you any points was the unbothered yet. So yes, he is controlling. He is paranoid, one that we mentioned. Again, I think that was, might have been Charlotte that brought that up in conversation at one point. And powerful, yeah, well done. Oh, all as well, same rank order there. Right, now, which items, there's one for Philippa, which items of art are featured in My Last Duchess? No, so a couple of things. Oh, no, who's pressed the wrong one? Yeah, you could get caught out of that. Um, you've, got, you've got to make sure that you get the right combination, isn't it? Yeah, it's the painting of the Duchess and the sculpture. Nobody went for the sculpture of Thor. No. Um, but getting both of those together. Okay. We've only two got it right. So who gets the points? Oh, makes no change to the leader. But um, Oliver moves up into third. Right. So what type of word is my? We're expecting a full house in this one. We do lots of work on this all the time. Yes, well done. Yep, it's the possessive pronoun. Ooh, right. So Charlotte's still out in front. Philip a second, Oliver third, and Penny and John as they were. Um, so what does he do to the Duchess when he talks about her, the Duke? Yep, yeah, well done. And we all split down the two pot potential answers there. Yep, yeah, it's objectification of her because it's possession, mine, and also just calls her mine. So both get your points. Well done. Ooh, ooh it's getting tighter and tighter. The, the numbers are they're all beginning to sort of, uh, what do we call it, uh, tighten up. Well done, Clement. Answer streak of four. Right, halfway through. So my last Duchess was written in. I remember the comments that were made by, I think one was by Penny. I forget who the other, made the other one, but both were mentioned. <gasps> well done, yes. Rhyming couplets, rhyming couplets. Oh, and it hasn't altered the actual, Clemmy also got that one right, because she's gone on, um, but it hasn't altered the other ones on the podium at the moment. Right. Who wrote my last Duchess name of the poet, please? Uh, 
Well done, most of you got that one right, Robert Browning. Yeah, Simon Armitage did remains, which is what we looked at before. Um, glad to see it. Nobody went in for the comedy moment and uh, went for Fred Flintstone. Oh, Charlotte maintains her lead at the top. Philippa still hot in the tails, and Oliver getting very oh three in it between Oliver and Philippa, and Penny's not that far behind. Neither, neither is John really. So all to play for. Oh, keep going, Clemmy. You're going to get on to fifth place soon. <laughs> Looks like that's a good streak. Right, my last Duchess. Who is the speaker in the poem? Well done, Full House, the Duke. Oh, Oliver moves on up to second. OK, moving on to the most recent one, Storm on an Island. Who wrote it? I'll wait for one to come in. I wonder if somebody's dropped off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Seamus Heaney. Seamus Heaney, the Irish poet. Whoa, Oliver, what happened there? <laughs> uh, so, Philippa back into second spot just behind Charlotte. John and Penny rise up too. Um, well done. Now, space is a salvo. What grammatical feature is this from the poem Storm on the Island? So what technique is that? Got to get the technique and you've got to get the spelling right. Yes, sibilance. Two, obviously two you went for blue, you just went for the wrong spelling of it. You had the right idea, just the wrong spelling. Okay, and I can see why you might go for alliteration, but it's that sound, space is a salvo. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, Penny, Penny phew, rockets up. Oof, there you go. Uh, well done, Penny. Uh, Charlotte into second, Philip into third now, John fourth and Oliver fifth. All right. Now, where is Storm on an Island set? Which country? Yay, Ireland. Oh, thank you for who I thought it was Scotland, but no, not, not, not Bonnie Scotland. It is Ireland. Okay, so stays as you were. Come on. Um, right. So Storm on the Island is written in which poetic form? Verse, is it a dramatic monologue? Is it a says text? Oh, well done to three of you there. Got it right. It's the blank verse. Again, remember the sonnets, um, got to be 14 lines long. Um, and a dramatic monologue would be a case where you have like a narrator, such as with the Duke and my last Duchess. And, and, the, and the voices that we have in uh, Ozymandias. But here, yeah, blank verse. And Sestet, that would be a six line verse. That's what that is. And normally half of a, a sonnet, because sonnets get split into eight lines and six, that sort of thing. Okay, so well done to the three of you who got it right. Let's see what it's done to our leaderboard. Come here, Mum. <gasps> Whoa, Charlotte just snapped back into the front again uh, with a very, very slender lead over Philippa and Penny's not far behind. John and Oliver maintaining in fourth and fifth. All right. So the last line of Storm on the Island is, what is the last line? Well done. Strange it is, a huge nothing that we fear. And, uh, and we discussed that one, uh, I think, towards the end of the lesson yesterday, about how you know, being afraid of nothing and the, the wind and the air representing that. You can't see it, you can't touch it, can't grab hold of it. 
Very well done. <gasps> Whoa, Penny. Penny's not taking this line down. She shoots up again from, I think that was about third or fourth spot there. Deposes Charlotte. Um, very, very tight at the top though. Very tight at the top. Okay. And Storm on the Island. The conflict is about what? what is, what's its main theme here? Yeah, well done. All seven, full house, yeah. Man fighting against nature. Well done. No change, no change. 21, right? So now, if we're looking at it as and contextually an extended metaphor, um, how is Storm and Island extended metaphor? What, what does it relate to? And again, I think it was Philip that mentioned this once in one of our so, last discussions. I thought I got it wrong, and yeah. then I looked at the spelling. Yeah, and it's all good now. Is it all good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got really panicked, and I thought I'd got it wrong. Don't panic. Don't panic. Yeah. So remember, it's about the troubles in Ireland. We can see that again as an extended metaphor there, and so um, the Irish attacks there. And the one that went for the IAR, I'm thinking you might be thinking about the IRA, um, very possibly there. But that was that one. Okay. Well done to the four of you. What's happened at the top? <gasps> it's, oh, Charlotte has just nipped into the lead, getting into the final bend here now. Um, okay, Philippa seconds. John now in a third spot on that podium. Penny in fourth. Oh, still time to come back, Penny. Three questions. Now, what is the first phrase of the storm? So that's the opening lines of this poem. What What is the opening lines of this poem? One answer to come in, one answer to come in. There we go. Yeah, we are prepared. Well done. Ooh, with two to go. Charlotte still in front. From Storm on the Island. Which is a line from Storm on the Island here? Which of the following phrases below is a direct quote? Well done. Most of you got that right. Yeah, that can raise a tragic chorus in a game. Oh, all of us just popped up. Right. So, with one question to go, Charlotte is in front, Philippa is second, John is third, Oliver fourth, Penny fifth. Final question. A simile from Storm on the Island. A simile. So which of the phrases below is the simile from Storm on an Island? Yeah, spits like a tame cat. That's just before the salvos and the strafing and the diving um, metaphors that come through. So only three got it right. Has it altered the outcome? <gasps> Let us see. So the final orders are as follows on the podium. So in third place, we have Oliver. Well done, Oliver. And second. Oh, Charlotte, he second and first. Who's done it? Who's done it? Oh, my goodness. Who really didn't see that coming? Philippa, for the first and the only time, um, we all knew about Philippa's, uh, you know, she has got that, 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 uh, what do you call it? That, um, oh, I can't think of the word now. She's determined to win, and that came through right in the end. That com the competitive spirit, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That competitiveness came right through at the very end there. So, very well done, Philippa. Well done, Charlotte. Well done, Oliver. And in fact, well done, all of you. It shows you that was good, uh, showing good knowledge there of the poems that we've studied so far. Um, right, just change my screen.
Right. So just uh, get rid of that so it stops doing that jingly thing. Right, yeah, so very well done. Um, so that gets us very neatly uh, right through to almost the end of the lesson. Um, for tomorrow, um, if you can, could you just have a little read through being at charge overnight for me, please? Um, that's the one, the one we'll be sort of looking at tomorrow. Um, this takes us into this. Uh, there's a few within the anthology. Now. I mean, obviously, we can think of Storm and Island because of its extended metaphor. We can think of that um, as being a kind of military one as well because of the Irish troubles, but it tends to get discussed most in relation to sort of man and nature at conflict with another, one another. It gets paired up that way. Um, with this one being at charge, it, it gets paired up with all the other ones like kamikaze, um, poppies, um, charge of the light brigade, and I think there's the Wolf Room one, forget which, which one, I think it's exposure. Um, but which you've got there. So there we can see power and conflict coming into its more kind of um, natural territory um, of war, military, that sort of idea. And so when you look at that, this is again um, another sort of famous poem, con contemporary of um, what do we call it, Shimasini, Ted Hughes. Um, so yeah, if you could read that for me um, for tomorrow's lesson. That before tomorrow's lesson, and we shall discuss, and we'll we'll sort of link it into others we've looked at so far. But very well done, good work today. Okay. Thanks, sir. Yeah, you're very welcome, and I think you know I, I'm you. I'm happy to release you sort of like four minutes to give you a, a sort of nine minute break before. What's your final lesson? Maths. Maths. Oh, oh no. Oh, that 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 that's going to be a workout, isn't it? Lots of maths. So can you just tell him that can I go to bed? You need to go to bed, yeah? Yeah. Give oh, the okay. Well, well I tell you that I've got medical. Yeah, problem. you you get so worn out by the cahoot and yeah, the, the, yeah. the assessment, yeah. And that your your Wi Fi's just given up. <laughs> Who is your maths teacher? Mr. Hunt. It's not that oh, he's he, he's not he's, he's like not that. gonna let you sleep your way through that lesson, is he? Nope. No, you're going to have to answer maths, 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 aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. It's a fine end today. I, I wish you every luck with your maths lessons then, OK? And I will see you one and all tomorrow. Thank you. OK, Bye. thank you. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Bye. Cheers, sir. See you. Thanks, John.